Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another well a new series here on the channel as we're going to be following the career here in Madden 20 as we are going to face or be the face of the franchise here today as we're going to introduce you guys to a new uh, character here on the channel his name is Kawhi uh, Kelly and he will be a part of this new uh, mode here in Madden 20 um, I'm happen to actually get this pretty early uh, of course part of EA access on the PS4 uh, a lot of you guys are probably doing the same thing like I'm doing especially if you're a youtuber and uh, this has actually been pretty fun here to play I've already got a couple episodes already here but I'm going to give you guys episode one uh, and we'll see in this one we'll see us uh, showing the some of the new features here in the game and of course the national championship game we'll see here uh, as you'll see a lot of uh, different schools here uh, a lot of uh, what there's at least three big 12 schools uh, which we're going to be representing one of them and also we'll see uh, what else what else we'll see oh yeah we'll see some other uh, like SEC schools uh, but yeah uh, we'll, it's, it's really fun this is a really fun game uh, I cannot wait and uh, really get into this here so hopefully you guys will enjoy this series hopefully you guys will enjoy the uh, pit, the ups and downs like I always describe the ups and downs the good the bad the ugly of being a pro athlete and especially in the NFL with Kali Kelly so this should be a good one here I cannot wait to show you guys and play more of this face of the franchise here on ESGN net so let's go ahead and get into it right now Let's get into face uh, the franchise here on the channel. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. Okay, so uh, you guys have been following this, uh, or been playing this uh, for some time now here. Uh, I just downloaded it here just, what, a couple hours ago here. It took quite a while. i uh, been playing it overnight. And as you can take a look here and see, uh, Kawhi uh, is going to be our quarterback here, a new character. Actually, a character I was going to bring into uh, NCAA uh, football. As part of the Highland Scotty series, but yes, like you know what, let's go ahead and let's bring him into, um, you know, into uh, face of the franchise here. It's just something fresh, something new. Because uh, in years past, I've created uh, Matt Marvel, um, and I think that's pretty much the only one I've created so far as a quarterback here. So I wanted something different, uh, and the idea of this uh, is uh, Kawhi is from. Um, Norman, Oklahoma. He's right there, lives lived right there in Oklahoma, uh, and, and been a, a Sooners fan for years. And he's always idled um, uh, Philadelphia, former Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb. So his style, his look, uh, it's going to have a, a McNabb kind of like um, thing to it if I can try um, to do that here in the game, uh, especially with the way how he throws. And all that kind of stuff. I had to kind of look up some stuff here uh, online. Uh, maybe I can find something uh, from past games stuff like that I can look up. Uh, but yeah, for the most part here, you know, he's he's you know idolized McNabb in his career, and uh, he you know he wants to play in the NFL. And uh, you'll see here in the story uh, about you know we've seen there that coach uh, says uh, that he wants to sign us and all that kind of stuff here. And uh, here in a bit, you'll see what school he's going to sign to. Of course, I probably already tipped you off of what, <laughs> of uh, which one he's going to go to there. Uh, so, spoiler alert. But uh, we'll see here. Uh, they got some pretty cool hairstyles and, and looks in here in the game. Uh, and I kind of want to go something with uh, like a high top fade or something like that. But they really didn't have that in there. So, I kind of decided here. I think you'll see here in just a bit. We're going to get the uh, dreads that are kind of messy looking. And then, of course, uh, put some facial hair on him because we don't want to have him look like a baby, have a baby face going to the NFL here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, eventually here we're gonna uh, kind of mess around here. I just I was kind of really it was late and I was kind of I was first I was gonna put this off. I was gonna like oh no I'll wait until you know in the morning and do this and this will be one of the first things I'll do. But I decided like nope I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and uh, do it now and kind of work through through the night. And, uh, this actually took about two to three hours to play uh, because um, they go, they have you go straight forward. I, I thought maybe it would be somewhere there where we could be able to save and, and you know you can go back to it. Uh, but no, they uh, just keep you they keep you immersed in this, which is I, I really like. Uh, I'm sure that the once we get into the NFL, it'll be something different. Uh, we won't be as immersed in it and have to um, you know there'll be you know game you know take say breaks or whatever uh, in between uh, excuse me uh, in between the um, uh, shoot uh, in between games as usual you know just like a room and a connected careers or whatever uh, but yeah I just wanted to do some things here and uh, I really didn't get into too much of his um, editing uh, his face and all that kind of stuff and I'm, at some point here I think I kind of like the look of him uh, just with the just the base just the I guess you could say the um, just the basic look that they had already in the game uh, just added the facial hair there and um, you know we'll change some things up here and there uh, I do want to change this number and, and uh, unfortunately you have to stay with the number that you have until at least till you get to the NFL and then you can change some things uh, there is gonna be a funny moment here <laughs> um, where uh, I'm trying to put in his name um, and I well I'll explain that and, and whatnot there when we once we get to there that point but uh yeah it was it was difficult i cannot believe him like seriously it just it was ridiculous uh but there you see his hometown norman uh and, and that's where he's from uh and of course uh, we're gonna see him uh play uh and we'll see what school he's gonna go to um it will be a, like i said it will be a big 12 school probably already know from the um thumbnail there if you've paid attention there of what school he's gonna go to but for the ones that didn't, well, I'll just leave it as a surprise here. Um, but yeah, he's gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back into this. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, <laughs> I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? It gonna be okay. Okay. Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. 
drop back, scan and throw. We're not sure the new kid could do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Snake? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. I uh, does not say something right there. What happened to that trust? Coach, you want to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was gonna be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. You'll see. Five-star recruit. Why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough. He's got to prove it to those guys. I gotta take this. All right, gentlemen. Like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> Who's we? I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh -huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. I'm here to play Clemson. What? The Tigers, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? Okay, so, uh, you know, I was, I was doing this, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, so far the storyline is pretty good, you know, uh, you're a five-star guy that came in four years ago and then turned around a guy that, uh, that committed somewhere else, decommitted, and decided to come to Oklahoma, and you're like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna be the starter, okay, I'll prove it, I'll, you know, I'll show why I'm worthy to, you know, why he's not gonna be the guy, and I'll work my butt off to, to do it so that's pretty much the story uh that we're going to kind of go with here and we'll, we'll kind of get away from it um you know once we're you know through the course of the going through the nfl and stuff like that um but yeah there you see his last name i could not put his last name in there k-e-l-l-e-y um for some reason it's not in there i try to spell it uh, k-e-l-l-e or k or y k-e-l-l-y and k-e-l-l-e-y Neither one would work, and I'm thinking like, okay, for goodness sake, NFL, you have a Hall of Fame quarterback, you know, Jim Kelly, who, you know, it's a common name, like, what's the deal? So I decided, I think, more time I tried uh, K-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E. uh, I guess it's usually that's the, how most you know, girls spell their name, uh, their name Kelly that way. I tried that way, didn't work, uh, so you'll see here. Um, and I think I try to even uh, extra I or extra E or something like that. Still didn't work. Um, so I decided, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll just put my last name in here. So I went ahead and put in Bolden, B-O-L-D-E-N. And we'll see here. Yeah, it, it, well, okay, I can, I can spell my last name, for, I, I promise. Um, but I spelled that. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I know who you are, but, uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? 
Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. All right. So, we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, uh, oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense? You were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... People would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, okay. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Gotcha. All right. Okay, so a little subplot there. Uh, you know, he wants to uh, fulfill the promise he made to his brother uh, a while back. And there's more of that story. You'll we'll get to unfold that in a little bit more here. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I had to put my la my last name in there, and it popped up. I'm like, okay, I know there's a Bolden in there. I know Antoine Bolden, but he doesn't spell this the same way as I do. He spells his I in. I spells my with E in. So I'm like, okay, that'll work. So for the time being, his last name is Bolden, but you know, we'll just pretend it's Kelly. So Kawhi's out here. We're gonna throw some uh, lob passes out here. Uh, showing you the new uh, feature here with law passing and uh, you know and, and whatnot. I, mean, I kind of wish they would do so away with this, uh, especially if you've been playing uh, Madden for a while. I can understand if it was somebody that was new to the game, um, you know, like my nephew who's uh, becoming a Madden fan and whatnot. Um, you know, it'd be something new. But I, you know, for the most part, a, a seasoned veteran like myself, been playing since Madden '93. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, you know, it, it is, I guess what it is, it is what it is, but, you know, they, uh, sh just showing you how to do d different passes, bullet passes, lob passes, uh, jump balls, stuff like that. Um, so it, it's, it's pretty interesting here. And, you know, like I said, uh, learn how to pump fake here and all that stuff, which is really nice. Cause I, I know in years past, a lot of people were like, oh man, I wish I would add a pump fake. Um, so you, you know, you could trick people to. You know, guys, or, you know, linebackers like that are watching, and ball hawking and stuff like that. Um, you know, you can trip them up and stuff like that. So that's something neat. I guess that's one of the newest things on here. But for the most part, throwing the passes, you know, throwing this around, it was pretty cool. And uh, you know, just you know, just play. You know, wish you. I guess in some ways it was all right doing it, but I guess you. In some ways, I kind of wish you can just kind of just mess around and just. Do other stuff uh, in this kind of this practice mode here but yeah uh, I'm gonna get into more of it uh, once we get into the NFL and stuff like that and, um, you know once we get a sign or drafted or whatever or I were coming for undrafted free agent or something like that uh, I'll mess around with it because uh, I'm still messing around with sliders I haven't decided what sliders I'm just gonna use yet uh, I've been looking at operation sports to see uh, what the best sliders are and of course, you know, they're not out just yet, but I'm going to test some stuff here Because uh, I do have all access uh, For the next couple of hours still I think I still have a uh, total what I think like seven or eight hours still so uh, You know, I'll be messing around with it. Of course, I'm not gonna start uh, the men franchise just yet uh, I kind of want to wrap up the uh, one previously on 19 uh, with the Chargers uh, this year I do have a couple of teams in mind. I do have one team I have, I'm kind of set on right now, 
But, uh, you know, I've been talking with my buddy Steve about uh, what, what team I should probably try to run with here. And uh, I have kind of one in, in the mind of, in, in my head right now. So uh, well, I'll announce that here later, a little later on, um, probably in the next, about another week or so. I'll have a video on that. Easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Well, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Man, forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah? Outside a surprise snowstorm in North Texas with temps in the 20s, but that has not dampened the spirits of the folks inside of AT&T Stadium here in Arlington as we get set for the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll Sooners. see the Clemson Tigers taking on the Oklahoma Sooners. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. All right, here we go. So uh, first and ten here as we start off here in the semifinals of the uh, national champ for the run for the national championship here. And the first play... Yeah, uh, I already blew the blew the defense right there. The defense gets blown away, and uh, we end up uh, letting them score here. It's now going to be seven nothing here. So I wasn't for sure if I was going to control uh, just a quarterback or I was going to control the defense there. If I was just going to watch it, uh, but apparently I'm controlling everything, everybody, uh, quarterback. You know, every you know, just like normal franchise mode there. Um, and I learned that here also uh, in this one here very quickly. And of course, uh, over uh, the same thing happens in the um, what is it, the uh, national championship game once you get into that. So we'll see here. That we're down by seven. We'll go to third and six, and we're trying our best here to uh, get the ball down the field here. And there you see there, yeah, Kelly. Cannot connect on that one. And that is going to cause us to punt the ball. So let's go now. First team here for Clemson. Yeah, I decided to put Clemson face them because, uh, you know, they were the defending national champions uh, and whatnot. So, you know, just put them in there and, and just see how I can play against them. And so far, uh, defensively, yeah, not so well. Go to a second and two. Uh, these are about six minute quarters here. Uh, eventually, quarter link will go up. Uh, I think about nine minutes I'll, sit, I'll play or so. Uh, we'll see here. This one is going to go down the field here, and that is going to be it. That's that going to be a huge touchdown there for Clemson. Now up by two scores here, as it's going to be 14 nothing. So Oklahoma back on the field here as the Sooners. We'll see what Kelly can do here as he threw. What is he doing there? <laughs> he will end up throwing that one. Uh, to I guess somewhere there on the sidelines there as that'll be an incomplete pass now second and ten ball in the 27 yard line here we'll see Kelly again drops back here drops back way too far here throws this one up there that's gonna get caught by Kane and what a catch there double coverage at that and he's able to uh, bring that one down so first and ten now ball on the 45 yard line still in their own territory as we'll see, and yeah, we don't have no X Factor players just yet. That was just, uh, I kept wondering where that, why that was popping up there, and that was because uh, I hit the L2 button. Uh, shows you who the X Factor players are, on, both on offense and defense. 
Uh, so we'll see that once we get in the NFL. So that's a first down here as we go now to uh, another pass play here. This one gets thrown up there, and oh, a good uh, strength of pat uh, his uh, arm strength there is good, but his accuracy is a little off. So we'll see now, second and ten. Ball in the 42 here for the Sooners. And throw that one up the middle there to Mason, who gets a great catch there. And that is going to be another first down for the Sooners. Uh, I, You know, honestly, the way I, you know, this game's been played, and, I, and like I said, I was really getting into it. I almost kind of lost myself uh, just by looking at the, 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 the uh, how the uniforms look and everything. I just cannot wait. I'm hoping and praying that this is a precursor of what we could see in uh, NCAA football here in the next year or two. I'm hoping next by next year we'll have uh, NCAA football back again. Probably not because um, by then we would have heard something, but it would be really nice to see that game back again because when I was playing this, I had so many ideas for, uh, you know, bringing back Team Builder. You know, I can recreate my Highland Scotty's uh, team that I currently run right now in 14. Not to mention bring into you know bring in some other schools there uh, within uh, the Jayhawk Conference, which that's where the Hudson Scotties are from. They're the community college here in Kansas, because uh, you got teams like Butler and Coffeeville and, uh, and, and uh, Garden City. Uh, if you guys are familiar with those teams, which some of you probably are, because if you're a football fan, you probably been watching on Netflix uh, the series called uh, Last Chance You, which is. Uh, they featured uh, the last two seasons here. They've been featuring uh, Independence, Kansas, which I've been there before several times uh, for filming ball games because uh, I went to Highland um, uh, not for football. I went there for actually for baseball and just uh, just as a student wanted to go to college. Uh, cheapest way, I tell you this much, to go to get into college to uh, skip those first two, you know, take those first two years, you know, your gen eds out of the way and. And then, uh, you know, once you get to your four-year institution, you know, you can just, you know, focus on your your actual studies that you're trying to go into, uh, which, you know, if you, I always tell, you know, um, you know, young kids when I was in college, like, hey, you know, don't knock on JUCO because JUCO, you can get, you know, a lot of your gen eds out of the way, and then once you get to your four-year school, you know. Uh, you you you'll get scholarships, you'll get you know all kinds of stuff, and you don't have to worry about have to take biology and stuff like that. Where you know you can go right in there and get a uh, into the, the, the you know whatever school, whatever you're trying to go into. Like for me, it was school of journalism. Uh, there you see there another touchdown there for Clemson as we go now to the second quarter here. So down to by two scores here. I, I apologize, I don't mean to. I do want to get into the play I play here, but um, no, uh, I you know going back to what I was trying to say here is you uh, just bringing the the college football game back on this same kind of level as in the Madden game here uh, in the last couple of years here it would be so awesome to see because uh, I I have I, I was coming up with already ideas for uh, you know a possibility of bringing the uh, JUCO schools into like a Division One school and put them in maybe like in the Big Twelve or or the Mac, or actually probably the Sun Belt, or something like that. Just you know, have a kind of a tier system, like you know, uh, Coffeeville, or not Coffeeville, but Butler and, and uh, Garden would be kind of like the diamond, like the big schools. They would like be the two star schools, and then like Highland would be like the one star. And then you can, you know, you have a couple, you know, a couple one stars, a couple uh, no scar schools there to start off with there. And, that you know, that's something I've been I've been kind of tinkering with. I've been kind of typing up and um, and ideally trying to maybe if this ever comes your college football ever comes back onto you know the PS4 and the Xbox stuff like that. Uh, that'd be something I would love to see. Uh, but yeah, it just it it, it would that would be so awesome. I, I'm so now I'm just even talking about this, this would be so awesome. Um, oh, I was going to say, by, if you guys are, you know, if you're into, uh, I don't know if you guys follow, or some of you guys, I don't know if you guys follow him, um, but uh, definitely I'll put a link down there below in the uh, description there, but uh, it's uh, Uncle Sam Reject. He is doing a great series. I had to give him some love out there because I told him that I went to, I actually faced those schools before, uh, mainly for baseball, but I was a, f a football manager, I was a film manager. Uh, for the for the football team there uh, to help out with uh, scholarships and stuff because when I went to Highland for baseball I didn't get a scholarship I just was there for a, as a walk on 
Uh, but for the football team, I was a you know I was a film manager and I filmed uh, the, the practices and games and stuff like that. Um, so um, you know I know those schools and everything. I told them that I kind of gave them a whole spiel about it and everything, and I told them like yeah, I'm just so glad that you give some love to us and and whatnot because um, you know in, you know a lot of if you don't if you don't know but there's a lot of NFL players, uh, especially in the late. Um, Oh man, in the late '90s, early 2000s, and even now, still to this day, uh, there's a lot of guys that come through the JUCO system there, and a lot of them come to Kansas to play football, uh, and they go to uh, Coffeeville and Butler and Independence and um, you know uh, Dodge and Garden City and stuff like that. All right, there you go. We got into touchdown there. Nice off that uh, that defensive uh, st uh, defensive uh, turnover there. But yeah, they, they just do a great job there, and a lot of guys move on to four-year schools there, and it's just, it's, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, if you're a football player that wants to, you know, you can't get into a D1 school right off the top, you know, right off the bat there, uh, you definitely want to uh, go through the, if you, you know, if anything, go through the route of, of, uh, of uh, uh, JUCO schools, because you can get some pretty good schools. Those coaches will go bend over backwards to help you out to get those, uh, uh, scholarships to the D1 schools. They got a lot of those coaches have uh, some good connections there. So, um, but yeah, uh, last chance you. That was a great series uh, season this year, and um, I, I obviously have a video about that here coming up. Um, I should. <laughs> I was I was trying to do my best not to try to promote that video while I'm doing this one, but yeah, I definitely got a video coming up about that. I'll give you guys my thoughts and stuff like that about uh, that. Um, uh, about that uh, program, I love it. I love what they're doing with it, uh, and also I'll talk about another one on YouTube or Netflix called uh, QB One. I don't know if you guys check that out, but it's a great uh, series about high school players that are uh, like senior year, they're uh, college uh, or college brown uh, football players. Uh, a bunch of QBs are from around the. Hey kid. I want to check in with you. What do you feel about the first half? All right. Hey, let's do it in the second half, baby. Come on. I definitely could have played better. Got another half to go. Just got to get back there and get on the same page as these guys. Get back out and get after. That's right. That's all you can do. Just make sure you relax. Second half is going to be fine. All right, so, uh, yeah, down by seven here as we go to the third quarter here. But uh, just going to have a saying about uh, that QB1. It's a really good series on Netflix. Definitely check it out. But I'll have videos about that and about um, uh, the fourth season of uh, Last Chance U. Uh, but, yeah, I just, just I, I'm so excited about college football. You know, it's coming up around the corner. I've been really excited about playing uh, my NCAA series there. I'm going to get back into it right now. Matter of fact, uh, videos should be popping up here on that, uh, here on the channel, here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So definitely check out uh, for those. Uh, but there you see a nice pass there to Street here. Now Street, of course, he wants the ball here. Um, or he wants us to help him out here and, and, and really get into this game here. We're, so we're going to try to get the ball to him uh, whenever he's open. But we are down by seven here. As you see, uh, there you see. Kelly cannot get out of that as he hit, runs into his own guy there and gets trapped. So now second and 16, we'll get to uh, try to see what we can do here. We did get the ball here to start off the half, so that's good. And we'll see here, man in motion, and we'll see uh, Kelly there throwing this one up there to Kane. Kane gets the catch there. He keeps his feet moving there, does a little shimmy there, and then gets taken down. And that's a big catch there near the 35. So now, first and 10, and we'll see if we can do this again as we'll see Kelly here scrambling here. Throwing this one up there. That's going to be a prayer there to Street, and he gets there at the 3. They mark him at the 3. Or no, he say, say he's in. Nice. So we get tie this one up now, 21 all here in the third quarter. I thought he was going to be stopped at the... They, well, I was looking at the screen there at three, but I thought they he wasn't in there, but they say he was, and 
we see here defense steps up here and they get the ball back for us so that's nice that's twice now the defense has helped us out here let's try get some points off that as we'll see here a ball thrown up there and Gore gets it with one catch there and that is going to be a first down there first and ten Sooners here we go as we have the ball at the 16 yard line here first and ten and oh try to get away from him, but no we get caught and the defense does a great job there putting us down there on that one so second and 16 We'll see the ball at the 22-yard line after that sack. And we'll see what Kelly can do here. He's going to get out of the pocket here. He's going to look. He's going to see. He's going to throw this one there. And, ooh, almost got picked off there. Dangerous throw there. And there was two defenders right there. Trying to thread that one in the, in the needle, and really. As we'll see here, Kelly's going to take off here. He can't find nobody. He's going to go ahead and run here. He's going to get down. <coughs> ooh, excuse me. He gets down to the 6-yard line there. As uh, he almost uh, took my breath away there because I thought he was going to end up dropping the ball. You guys, we'll go ahead now to fourth and inches here. And we're going to give this one to Griffin. And Griffin gets in there for the run. And that is going to be a huge touchdown. Touchdown. Sooners. And it's a 28-21 ball game. So we got a one, get one possession lead here. As we'll draw, uh, see here at the 25. And we get a stop there. And that goes no gain there for Clemson. As we'll see now, Clemson here, third and four. Opportunity here now, try to get something going. Throwing this one up there. That's going to be a caught, and that is going to be a first down as the Tigers continue moving here in this drive. As we move on now to the, the ball on the 42-yard line here, we'll see there the halfback gets out of the backfield there, but only is able to scrape up three on the play. As that'll be his uh, second and uh, seven. Go now to a third and two here. As we'll see the QB here. Throws this one up there. That's going to be caught. And that is going to be a first down. As the defense is really struggling here. We cannot give him any points here. we got to try to stop him here. And get this ball back here. As we'll hand, see a handle. No, QB is going to hold on to it here. And he is going to find you taken down. And he's just uh, two yards shy of getting to the first down sticks. So can they convert here as we start the fourth quarter? And we'll see a second and two handoff there to the halfback. And halfback gets enough there, just enough, to get the first as they put him near the 32-yard line. So now first and ten here for the Tigers. Tigers trying to get back in this one here as they pretty much uh, had control of this game here with the exception of those two uh, botches they had there, losing the ball there on offense. And uh, defense, our defense really stepping up here. But now the question is, can they uh, continue doing that here? As you see a pass there, a screen pass there. Defender, get, oh my goodness, that was a good shake there. As he gets around the defense there of the Sooners and gets the first down. They'll stop him at the seven for the first down. So now first and goal here. Ball on the seven-yard line here. And that is going to be a sack right there. Nice job as we push him back to the 12. And now the uh, Tigers here now have a second and goal here. They're going to try to see if they can get this one here. Probably going to be a big play here. It's going to be a toss play, a pass play here. That one's going to get thrown there to a screen. And he brushes off the first tackler and finally gets wrapped up there, only gaining two yards on the play. So now ball on the 10-yard line here for the Tigers as they'll drop back here. Looks, fires, throw this one off to the side there. But Dexter gets them. And they stop him at the six-yard line. And this looks like they're going to have to go for it here if they want to stay in this game. So fourth and goal here. We'll see what they will do as they'll drop back here. He looks, fires, throws on the back of the end zone there. And that is a touchdown. Tied this ball game up now. It's going to be 28-28 here at uh, Big D uh, here in Arlington. As we'll see. What they'll do here is the Sooners here have the ball. They're going to give this one to Griffin. Griffin gets a nice run there. Griffin gets stopped, and he will be stopped at midfield. Great run there for him. He almost broke that one out. And oh, man, it would be nice if he did. But we'll take our time here as we have two and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. And we'll see what the uh, offense can do here. Hopefully protect the ball. And, of course, Kelly he needs to make sure. And if he's going to throw this one, he's got to find the right man and read that defense uh, very well here. He's already given up an interception already in this game. 
Not to mention, uh, he's been sacked several times here. So just clock management is going to be on in his favor here. As we'll see now, second and four. Two minutes left here. Ball on the 44-yard line. And we'll see a play clock running down the two. We'll see uh, Kelly throwing this one up there. That's going to be tipped, and Streets gets it. Thank goodness. And that is going to be a first and ten for the Sooners. So Street is stepping up here for us, helping us out. As we'll go now to a first and 10, ball in the 36. He's running down the play clock here, a minute 30 left. As we'll see, uh, Griffin here tries to run this one, trying to break the tackle, but he carries the man, he's the, the should say the defender there, and he's just shy of the, the first. So now second and inches. We'll see what they can do. As we'll see, uh, if they can try to, just try to milk this clock as much as possible. And so far, they've been doing that pretty well here. That one gets thrown there, and Streets gets it, but he gets wiped out there. Uh, you don't want to do that to your wide receiver. And I'm sure that he's going to apologize to him for that hit there. As we go now, third in inches here. We'll throw this. Uh, Griffin will actually, you know, run this one there. And that one will be a first down there as there's a minute 20 left here in the fourth. So a minute 20 in the fourth, still tied, 28 all. We'll see ball in the 16-yard line here. Just playing the running game here. Griffin runs this one, and he gets about a couple of yards on the play. So now we go now to a third and six here as we were unsuccessful there on second and six, trying to run the ball. And we'll see this time. We're trying to see if we can get a pass play here. Try to get this one inside the five if we can. And we'll see here. Kelly's going to run this one. And, yeah, he does, and he dives there. Oh, my goodness. I was getting a little scared there. I thought the ball was going to pop out. It was going to be a fumble. Not what we need, but they do give him the first down on the dive. So now first and 10, ball on the six-yard line, 50 seconds left here. You got to play some smart football here. You don't want to get rid you don't want to get a turnover here as you're that close to getting into the uh, national championship game here. And you want to make sure you uh, button this up here as we'll see a pass play up the middle there to Streets, and Streets gets it. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It's going to be 35-28 here with 32 seconds left. As we'll see here, Clemson trying to get back on the field here offensively. We'll see what they can do. They're going to have to heave this one up there. That one's going to be caught near the sideline, and that's going to be a catch. But he's going to get pushed there at the 43 for a first down. Okay, defense, you're making me a little worried here. As we'll see now, first and 10, throwing this one up there. That's going to be caught again and again. Another huge first down with only 20 seconds left here. They are stay. They actually stay in bounds. The clock keeps running. Clemson has no timeouts. That ball gets tipped there, and that is not going to be any good. As they got one more shot now, try to tie this ball game up here now. Second and 10, three seconds left here. Court QB for Clemson is going to drop back here. He drops back too far here, way too far. What is he doing? Throws this one away, and no, that's going to be it for the ball game as Oklahoma will move on now to the finals of this playoffs, and they'll face, oh, I don't know who they're going to be facing here, but they'll move on, and they'll get a chance to go for the national championship in the next episode. Wow, what a game there, and we'll see what Kelly has to say after the game. Really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, coach. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha-ha! <laughs> M! Looking good, Emily! Oh, and I'm loving this hat! Thank you. Oh! Absolutely! Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh off the board, huh? Yeah. 
but Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I'm gonna do pink, no question. Definitely pink. <laughs> pink, no question. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. All right, the game is in the name. Off the board. Uh, now it's clear. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm-hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns. Uh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, uh, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. You'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's great to see you again. It was nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. Is it? No, no not, that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this one, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? 